That's nice. But uh, so do I. That's good. That's good. All right, here comes uh, Bowser versus Ike. Honestly, this sounds genuinely terrible for Bowser, considering how good Ike is in this game. You can't really punish uh, what used to be Ike's slow options, because now they're all fast. But Bowser coming off strong and hot. I mean, I meant that in a different way than it came out. <laughs> man, that's your fault. That's your <laughs> fault, man. But one of the things that I'm noticing about this matchup is that um, Bowser, even though he's a heavy, he actually has a lot of ways to approach. He has his forward air, which is always a good option. His back air is a lot faster in this game. Yeah. And, I mean, granted, those are his only real approach options. Maybe Nair, but that's not really safe on shield. And unfortunately, that counter's not be able to hit that up B because it's a little too fast. And Ooh, but but the uh, the fair, yeah, the fair, the fair getting rid of that dare from Bowser. What are the biggest Outrage. things? One of the things I'm noticing about Sandy is that he's doing really well. He's just not able to get his Nair conversions completely 100% of the time, but it's kind of looking like he's oppressing Crimson right now. Look at this percent deficit. Hey, look Ooh, at this down smash stock does deficit. It. Let's go. Oh, he was looking for that read. That's nice. Oh, I just realized that's his down smash from melee, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Interesting. Ooh, not able to get that down the interception. Instead, Sandy's going to punish strong with 27% on the board already. And... I mean, Crimson is looking for any way to get the stock, and one of the best ways to get it off is probably run off bear, or just come to stop him out with a bow with a Bowser fire breath. He committed seppuku. I'll see you next week if things go smoother. Ooh, just forcing Bowser off stage. That's one of the biggest issues about Bowser. No matter what he does, off stage he's just gonna get so threatened so quickly because he has nothing to do other than just a B. Yep. I mean he can't always chase off air, but that's not much of anything at all. Shielding that fair. Ooh, but still but taking everything else. Sword of characters oh. are reigning supreme in this game, and it's certainly showing with this entire set so far. Not really much of a much of a lead for Crimson at all. Or but Ooh. he is able to get that fair strain going only two though. One of the biggest one of the biggest things I'm noticing that uh, Crimson is doing really well is he able to he's able to capitalize whenever uh Sandu's just standing still. One of the things you cannot do against Crimson is just stand still because he's gonna suddenly make up all this percent and he's about to die to the side B, but he's about to kill Ike as well instead of Fair being able to chase him off the stage and kill him. The hero of Radiant Dawn takes another stock. Honestly, it's not impossible for Crimson to make this up. All he needs to do is a force, uh, force Ike off stage because granted, they both don't have the best recoveries, but Bowser's is definitely much better than Ike's because Ike cannot go Bowser's, uh, Bowser horizontally has, at all. Bowser has more ver horizontal recovery, whereas Ike's has more vertical recovery. Uh, even then, uh, the vertical recovery for Bowser is not too terrible. Instead, all you really need to do is do what you did to that first stock, just force him off stage, throw him off stage, do whatever you can to get him off stage, and just Ooh, up there him right him. through the ledge. Nice. But instead, what I'm trying to say is, you just gotta fire breath him out nope. there, or you can just fair him off stage. Two stocks. He got two stocked. JV. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, no, my phone's actually. Oh. Five percent. I'm sorry, boy. Is there another channel? Mine's a 28, actually. I can see it. Right, I'm just using it for music. I can't connect to Gamers Gone like Guest for whatever reason. You need to like go into the web browser and you need to put in their password. It's really weird. No, the thing is, my phone says verify the account after it connects, mm -hmm. and I just press on that and it automatically goes onto the website. Huh. But it's not letting me do that. It's just saying trying to connect to the IP address. No, I anticipated. You grounded. Damn it. Get off the stream. Ah uh, no. Oh, here comes the DDD. This is something that uh. Crimson talked that he played this character in Smash 4, but he never, I don't think he ever brought it out in bracket. He has, he has. I like the new Pokemon stages. I don't think I'll ever get sick of Pokemon stages in Smash 4. Never. I love them all. It's better than just two times and two. Two. Animal Crossing stages. What? I have a bias. I see you, Lumen. Okay, so a little That's bit more on this, a little bit more on this matchup. Uh, say that again and I will punch you. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, one of the things about this matchup, this is a lot more 50-50 because, granted, Sandu can just kind of do the same exact thing he did to Bowser, but having a projectile to deal with is a lot more difficult than just having the fire breath because the Gordo is, is so good with combo tools. But the Ooh. thing is that Gordo can be knocked right back at him really easily, especially with that sword, as it is, uh, what's the terminology? Oh, that's death. What? That wasn't death. He grabbed, I thought that would have been death, wasn't death. 
Uh, what's the terminology? Adjacent hitbox? Indirect, indirect hitbox. Indirect hitbox, yeah. Um, and since it's an indirect hitbox, it doesn't touch Ike at all. So the Gordo does no damage. Yeah, it's a really good project- oh. well, to one of my friends, he made a really good a statement on this. It's a terrible projectile, but one of the best pressure tools in the game because you're just- I mean, it's just a coming at you. It's a giant spike ball that can be used as a combo tool, a kill tool, a get off me tool, and ed one of the best edge yards in the game. You don't- Punishing tool You can't too. do anything. Like, look at this, this is, I mean, granted, Crimson did lose his first stock already, but look at this percent, 165, this will kill! And this, only 32% uh, extra credit. This is just a lot more of an even matchup, definitely better than the Bowser matchup. Even though Bowser is a bit more of a comfort pick for Crimson, I feel, this is definitely gonna work a lot better in his favor. Ooh, we're trying to get that read and he did, he caught that spot dodge, and instead of being able to try to fare away, but instead the Gordo is going to be hit by the ledge, and it's forcing Gordo, um, forcing DDD off stage. Granted, he doesn't really suffer from the same issue as Bowser does, uh, DDD can recover very well. He has great horizontal and vertical recovery with his forward jumps and his up special. Trying to catch up the up air. That's whoa! Oh, he was able to do the same exact thing that Sandu did earlier. Instead, to be able to cross, be able to get right in his face and launch that spike in him. Unfortunately, that was the, that was the sour spot of that uh, F smash. Thanks to down smash being one of the fastest smash attacks for DDD, he's able to get that nice punish and instead getting that narrow to back air, something we've been trying to fish for since game one. Wasn't really landing consistently, but now it seems like he's finally got that down, especially for these uh, heavier, floatier characters. It's definitely a lot, a lot harder on uh, floaty characters. This, this is just. These two characters are able to outrange each other extremely well, but I feel like Ike has a bit more of a matchup, uh, more of a an advantage in the matchup thanks to the just the consistency of his uh, disjoint. But even still, disjointed hitbox. That's mm. not indirect. Well, if you're talking about projectiles, that's just a uh, that's just a projectile. No, I'm talking about his sword. Hmm. It's a disjointed hitbox. It's, it's not connected to the character to where it can hurt him. Crimson is just getting all these reads and forcing Sandu off stage, forcing him to go come up with a bunch of options, especially with something that Ike really can't do off stage. We'll be able to stuff out that up, he just barely, and instead, about to get lost off the stage at 127. Thank you, Seth Gordo. This is looking like a very close matchup where Crimson is trying everything he can to just to beat him, but Ooh, instead the chase off fares him, able to beat Crimson, and that is going to be a 2-0 victory for Sandu. Really good showing, really good Ike. Once again, Ike showing his dominance not only at a 